Welcome back everybody. Today, Hunter and I are making Kamut French baguettes. And this recipe is from the Food Nanny. Um, they've got a lot of great recipes with Kamut flour. So to start with, I've got a half a cup of warm water. And then to that, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoon of active or instant yeast. So there's one. And a half, and then we're going to add a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to let this activate for a few minutes. And while it's activating and getting bubbly, we're going to mix up the flour, the dry ingredients. Stir that up. We're just going to cover that with a plate and set it right there for a minute. Okay, so to this big bowl, we are going to add two and a half cups of Kamut flour. So there's one, two, And a half. Uh, two teaspoons of salt. There's one, two, and then a teaspoon of sugar. Let me make sure. Yeah, one teaspoon of sugar. Just gonna mix this up really good. And we're gonna wait a few more minutes for the yeast to get, the yeast mixture to get um, bubbly. So we will be back with you in about five or 10 minutes. All right, we are back. And as you can tell, the yeast is very active. It's really bubbly. So this was a half a cup of water and slightly warm. Um, with the yeast and sugar in it, and we'll put the ingredients at the bottom. So we're adding this to our flour mixture. And then we've got a cup of warm water that we are going to add in. And then we want to stir this together until it comes together into a ball. Okay. All right, so we have um, the dough. It's a little bit sticky. It was kind of dry and I had to add maybe another couple tablespoons of water. So I'm just putting some flour on the surface and we're going to knead this just for a few minutes until we get a good consistency. This bread is pretty quick and easy to make. There's not, um, you only let it rise one time. Um, a lot of yeast breads, you have to do a double rise, but this is really, you could have this on the dinner table, uh, boy, probably within an hour or less. Get a little bit more. So I'm just kind of kneading it really quickly just to get it into a good um, consistency, working a little bit of the gluten. Kamut has, uh, it's not as strong of a gluten as a regular wheat, but it cooks up as a really light and fluffy bread. It's it's really, it's probably one of my favorite um, flowers right now to work with. Okay, I think we're about there. You don't want to add too much flour. 
Okay, so it doesn't really need to be kneaded that much. It's just a good consistency. We are sticking. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just cut this in half. This is gonna make two French baguettes. We're gonna roll this out into a baguette shape. You can make it um, as thin as you want, or you can make a short, thicker baguette. And I've already, um, I have a baguette pan, French loaf pan that I put these on. And I bought, I've sprayed it with oil. Okay, so there's one. I'm gonna do the second one and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've uh, shaped two baguettes and what I'm gonna do is just score them pretty deeply down the middle. And then we're gonna let these sit and we want them to rise about double, depending on how warm your kitchen is. Um, this could take as little as, you know, 20, 30 minutes, or if it's cooler, it could take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna set these on the oven, cover them with a cotton dish cloth and let them rise. And while they're rising, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450 and in the very bottom of the oven I have put an old uh, cake pan that's got water in it and that's going to preheat and it's going to cause a steam bath in the oven and help the bread to rise quickly when it goes in so as soon as these doubled in size we will come back and check with you okay we are back and it's only been 30 minutes and these actually I hope they didn't rise too much, but as you can see, they've they've doubled in size. So into the hot oven they go. Careful, Hunter. And it's steamy. Fifteen minutes. I'm gonna set the timer. It's on. <laughs> we'll check back with you in fifteen minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. The timer's about ready to go off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And we'll get these out of the oven. Oh, they're looking good. Nice and golden on the top. They look really good. Let's see if I off the pan easily. We're going to put them on a cooling rack to cool for a little bit. And then we'll cut into them in a little while. All right, so you could have French baguettes on the dinner table within an hour. I would say that is pretty good. And also, you could add to the dough, uh, my daughter has added jalapeno peppers, um, the pickled kind in the jar, and some cheese and kneaded that in with it. Um, what, there's all kinds of things you could do with these, but um, they are very soft and fluffy and delicious. So we'll see you back in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna cut into one. These are still pretty warm and they're very, very soft. Turn this around so you can see it. But they're just really, really soft. All right, Hunter, you can do the test, test taste, test taste. <laughs> test testing. Taste testing. How is it? Good. Good? He gives it a thumbs up, all right. So these are really good. So if you wanted to reheat these, um, these don't last very long. They need to probably be eaten within a couple days. But um, like this one's really, really soft. If you want a crispier crust, 
and you want to heat it up for like dinner tomorrow night, just stick it on the rack in the oven, um, 350, 375 for like 10, 15 minutes, and then it will crisp it up again. So anyway, hope you guys try the Kamut French baguette. They're super easy and really, really good. Thanks for watching.